So if you're watching this, you probably have a Samsung phone that just isn't quite where you want it to be. Maybe you've been playing around with custom ROMs. Sure, they're exciting until they start causing issues. Or maybe your phone's just acting up. You're dealing with glitches, battery drain, maybe the camera is slower than usual, and you're thinking maybe a clean reinstall could fix this. Or hey, you might be here because you want that latest firmware right now, not weeks later when it finally rolls out to your region. Or maybe you're here because you're dealing with a specific problem, like boot loops or random reboots, and you're hoping that a fresh firmware might just give your phone a new lease on life. Whatever your reason, sometimes you just need to get back to a fresh official Samsung firmware. But here's the thing, downloading Samsung firmware can be a total hassle. You've probably tried those sites with free downloads, but they're super slow or worse. They want you to pay for faster downloads. That's where this tool comes in. It's free, it's fast, and it connects right to Samsung's official servers, bypassing all those annoying speed restrictions. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this tool to get your firmware quickly and easily so you can get back to enjoying your phone without the headaches. All right, let's dive into the process, step by step. So grab your laptop, your Samsung device, and make sure you've got a USB cable ready, and let's get into it. First, download and install the tool from its official GitHub repository. To get it, just follow the link I've provided in the description. Once you're on the page, click on Releases, then choose the zip file based on your system. Since I'm on Windows, I'll go with this file, this ensures you're getting the latest, most reliable and safest version of the software. Once it's downloaded, extract the zipped file and go ahead to open it up. You'll need to enter your Samsung model number and your phone's country code. You can find these in your phone's settings under About Phone and Software Information. Here's my model number and here's my CSC or country code. This part is super important. Make sure it's accurate or you might end up with the wrong firmware. Next, pop those into the tools boxes and search for updates. You'll see a list of available firmware versions for your device. Pick the one you want. You can go with the latest version or even roll back to a previous version if that's what you need. With your firmware selected, just click download. And here's the magic. This tool taps right into the servers but bypasses the speed restrictions so your download finishes fast. Finally, once the download's complete, just save it to your desired location. Once the firmware file is downloaded, we'll move on to downloading Odin. Just head over to the link I've put in the description below and grab both Odin and the Samsung USB drivers. Make sure to install those Samsung USB drivers before we go any further. So now we've got both Odin and the firmware files downloaded, but they're in zipped form. Let's unzip them one by one. In the folder where we extracted the firmware, you'll see five files ending in .md5. We're only going to need four of these for flashing the firmware on your phone. If you're just updating and want to keep your data and apps, you'll use the files that start with home in the next steps. But if you're doing a clean install, choose the ones that start with CSC. Don't worry, I'll remind you again when we get there. One optional step, if you want to speed things up a bit, you can remove the .md5 extension from the files, but it's totally up to you. Now, let's get started with step one for flashing. First, open Odin as an administrator. Once it's open, turn off your phone and boot it into download mode. For that, hold down the power button, Bixby, and volume down button together. If your phone doesn't have a Bixby button, just press the home button with the other two. Or, if you're not sure, just Google how to boot into download mode on Samsung with your phone model. Once the download mode screen shows up, connect your phone to your laptop using a data cable. In Odin, if you see some random text with a COM port connected and the area turns blue, it means you've got a solid connection. If not, check your data cable or reinstall the Samsung drivers and try again. Assuming we're all set up, let's upload the files one by one. In the BL section, load the file that starts with BL from the firmware we extracted. Do the same with AP for the AP section and then go to the CP section and load that file. Now, here's where you choose. If you want to keep your data, select the file starting with Home. If you're doing a clean install, go with CSC. Since I'm going for a clean install, I'll choose the CSC file. Once all the files are loaded, go ahead and press Start. 
the flashing process will begin. So just sit back, wait patiently, and definitely don't touch that cable. Once everything is flashed, you'll see pass on the Odin screen, and your phone will restart itself. Give it about 5 minutes and you'll be right at the welcome screen. You've now reinstalled the official Samsung firmware on your device, all without paying a dime or waiting forever for the download. I hope you found this video easier to follow. I'm Khan, and I'll catch you in the next video.